Welcome back. Ba not back. Welcome back. We're on problem number 15. And I tried it as best as I can to draw it. And they're pretty much saying that the saying, well, I'll read it. Doug's biology experiment involving timing 12 hamsters in a maze. Each hamster received at least one practice before being timed. The scatter plot above shows the time each hamster took to complete the maze and the corresponding number of practices that each hamster received. Based on the data, which of the following functions best models the relationship between t, between t, the number of seconds to complete the maze, so number of seconds, number of seconds, this is the t axis, and p, the number of practices, this is p, number of practices. So we want to find t as a function of p, right? So t is a function of p. So one, it looks like our time didn't. The, the hamsters didn't learn much when they got practice. You know, no matter how much practice they got, the hamsters looks like you know they roughly took about the same amount of time. And we could kind of, we could try to draw a line here that fits this curve. You know, maybe it would look something like this. I don't know, something like that, right? I mean, it's not going to be. You know, you could try to be cute and try to draw something maybe with a little bit of a slope or anything. But I mean, really, this looks like a flat line when you look at it. So what would be the equation of that line? Well, the equation of that line, that would be like 45 or 44 or something. So if you said t of p is equal to, and actually they have a choice that looks just like that. t of p is equal to 44. t of p is equal to 44. No matter how many practices the mice got, regardless of how many, they, they, they on average take roughly 44 seconds. So practice doesn't really help mice much, as opposed to students preparing for the SAT. And all the other ones don't make any sense. I mean, t of p equals p, that would be that would be something like this. Choice A is something like that. That has no sense. Um, uh, no, sorry. Choice A is our answer. T, choice B looks something like that. Choice C, 44p, that'll be even a super steep. That's, that makes no sense. p over 44, that's going to be like a, a really shallow graph. And then you could have p plus 44. That would start here and then have a slope of 1, so it would look like that. So none of the other ones are even close. So it's definitely choice A. T of P is equal to 44. Last problem. Problem, and I'll do a new color. Problem 16. Oh my god. Problem 16. And they drew this thing. So we have a big square, and then we have a square like. Right there. Okay, so I have a square like that. Actually, I should just use the line tool. That'd be better. Square like that. Square like that. And then I have. Well, this is okay. A square like that, roughly. Not perfectly drawn because these three squares look the same, and they tell us they're the same. They tell us that this is W. This is L. W W W L L. The pattern shown above is composed of rectangles. This pattern is used repeatedly to completely cover a rectangular region, 12 units long and 11 units wide. So they're covering a region that's 12, 12 L long, ten, and 10 L wide, 10 L wide. So this is like a, you know, a thumbnail of the floor. How, how many rectangles of dimension L by W are needed? How many rectangles of dimension L by W are needed? Okay. Well, when they say how many rectangles of dimension L by W, that's just what each of these rectangles that they drew here, right? Because all of these have dimensions L by W, L by W. L by W, L by W, L by W, right? So if we could figure out just how many of these, you know, this pattern has one, two, three, four, five of those on it, right? So if we could just figure out how many of this pattern would fit onto this, then we are we're we're done, right? So how can we how can we figure that out? So on something, do we know a relationship between L and W? Well sure. We see here that two L's are the same thing as three W's. We know that two L is equal to three W's. And since we all our dimensions are given in L, let's solve for W and substitute. So let's say that 
w is equal to just divide both sides by 3. w is equal to 2 thirds l. Right? All I said is, you know, 2l is the same thing as 3w, and I divided it by 3. So w is equal to 2 thirds l. So can we represent the, the height and the width of this rectangle now in terms of only l's? Well, sure, what's the height? What's the, uh, the length of this rectangle? Well, the length is def just 2l, right? l plus l, that's the length. And what's the width? Well, w is what? It's 2 thirds l, 2 thirds l, plus l. So what's the width of this rectangle? What's 2 thirds of something plus one whole of that something? Or 2 thirds plus 3 thirds. So the width is 5 thirds l, right? So each of these rectangles, each of these rectangles is 5 thirds l by 2l. So how many of these rectangles are we going to have to put onto this floor? How many total? Well, going in this dimension, they're 2l. They're, they have a length of 2l. So if we want to, if we have to, uh, if they're 2l each, then we're going to need six of them, right? We're going to need six in this direction. Because right, we're going to go a total distance of 12l, and they're 2l each. So they're going to be 6 in that direction. And how many are we going to need in this direction? Well, we have to go a total distance of 10l. And the width of each of them is 5 thirds l. Right? So what's 10 divided by 5 thirds? So the l's cancel out. So 10 divided by 5 thirds is the same thing as 10 times 3 fifths. And then that just equals 6. So we're going to need six rectangles in this direction as well. So how many total rectangles are we going to need? Well, 6 times 6 is equal to 36 total rectangles. And then how many of these smaller rectangles are in each of the, we'll need 36 of this pattern. And then how many of the rectangles are in that pattern? Well, we counted. There's five. So we're going to need five times 36 total of these, you know, these smaller rectangles. So five times 36. Is what 150 plus 30? It's 180. We will need a 180 of these smaller rectangles. So that is choice E. And we are done with this uh, uh, test three. I'll see you in test.